All right, what to do after an accident. I'm gonna be going through a car accident checklist so you know what to do to protect yourself after an accident. And I actually just finished a car accident checklist for my office. So if you want the physical copy of this, reach out to my office, we'll send you a copy of this. You can put it in your glove compartment box. And it also has some handy tips on the back. First thing you wanna do after an accident is take photos. And I always recommend Take photos of the vehicles involved in the car accident. Take photos of the license plate. Take photos of the damage to the vehicles. Take photos of the scene. You wanna take as many photos as possible. Oftentimes I tell people, you can take photos all around the vehicles, even the front or the back of the side if it wasn't involved in the car accident. Still take the photos because sometimes, at some point later, the person who hit you, they may claim, oh, another vehicle hit me from the side and it pushed me into you. And you have a photo now showing there was no damage that would corroborate this story by the defendant. So that's one of the first things. Take photos of the other people's driver's licenses. One of the things you're gonna to need to do is reach out to these people. You wanna have their driver's license number so you can track them down along with their address and whatever identifying information is on those driver's licenses. Take photos of the license plates. Sometimes the information that they give you may be wrong or they're borrowing a car or they're renting a car and having that license plate means that we can go to the DMV and get further information about the owner of the vehicle and sometimes that could be different than whatever they're telling you. Take photos of the entire accident scene. So if there's like a bumper in the road or where the cars came to rest, skid marks, all of those things can be helpful in reconstructing the accident. So that later, if someone's trying to blame you for the accident, we can take a look at those photos, reconstruct it, and show how the other person's at fault. Collect the contact information from all the witnesses you can. One of the worst things that happens is people will call me up and they'll say, I got into a car accident, they're blaming me, but I spoke to someone at the scene that saw the whole thing and they can confirm that I was not at fault. And then I say, well, did you get their phone number, email, any way to contact them? No, maybe it'll be in a police report. And then I get the police report and there's no one there. You really have to take it upon yourself to get the evidence you need in the case. That means getting the witness's name and phone number, making sure the phone number's right, so we can call them later. Your attorney can call them later and get a statement. You should call the police and let them know that there was an accident. One thing you should know though, is that especially in LA and in California, the police won't come out unless there are injuries. So just be aware of that. You should seek medical attention if you're injured. If it's life-threatening injuries, yeah, go to the ER, probably get an ambulance. But if it's not life-threatening, but you're in pain and you need some immediate medical care, you could try an urgent care, which is often faster and you can see a doctor and they'll prescribe you whatever you need. For a lot of people, getting an appointment to your primary care doctor can take a long time. Sometimes people tell me they can't get into their primary care doctor for a month. You can't wait that long. You're going to need medical treatment sooner. So that's why I usually recommend urgent care or ER in the beginning. After that, you're probably going to need some therapy or you might need to visit a specialist. And you should talk to your lawyer about that. You will also want to contact your insurance company. Let them know what happened so that they can do an investigation. If you don't contact your insurance company, they might hold that against you later on down the line when someone else calls them to open a claim. And then finally, you should contact our office, get a free consultation. So we're based in California, but if this happens someplace else, you're definitely gonna to wanna to speak to an attorney. Most attorneys like myself will do a free consultation. So it doesn't hurt to just talk to an attorney, get their opinion, and oftentimes they'll give you some advice on how to handle the case if they can't take it. That's the items on the accident checklist. We also have some tips here, things that can help you protect yourself in an accident. So for example, if you're not at fault and you're using your own insurance company to have your car fixed, you can ask them to waive the deductible. They're gonna probably recover it from the other side. It doesn't always work, but it's a way to save money. Another thing that you could do is check your insurance policy for medical bill coverage. And what that means is you may be paying on your insurance for a special type of coverage that'll help pay for immediate medical bills. That could be things like an ER copay, a large ER deductible, the ambulance bill, and you can get that money right away if you have that coverage. Another important thing, the insurance company can't force you to use a certain body shop in California. You get the right to choose the body shop you wanna use. So be aware of that. 
And then finally, you should be careful giving a recorded statement to an insurance company, especially a recorded statement to the defendant's insurance company. Oftentimes for my own clients, I do not allow them to give a recorded statement to the other person's insurance company because it's just gonna get used against you. So just be aware of that. If you want this checklist, just call our office because we're gonna need your address, we'll mail it to you. You want this physical checklist in your glove compartment box so that you can pull it out after an accident and it'll tell you exactly what to do.